Hello, this is Eric Wamsley, Systems Engineer with Nutanix. Today I'm going to show you how to remove and delete data stores that are presented to a VMware environment from Nutanix. The environment we're playing with today is a four node cluster that's running ESXi 6.7 and the vCenter server is also version 6.7. The AOS version is 5.9, so we are running on a fairly new environment as of October 2018. Step one will be for us to go ahead and change our view over to the storage view inside of Prism. From here you can see we have multiple data stores, a default container, another one for HR, and another one where the storage just has compression and dedupe. We'll then change our view over to the vCenter view and see what we see inside of VMware. And here inside the HTML5 client, we can see that all three of our data stores are mounted. There are two different ways to unmount and delete data stores and storage containers inside of a VMware environment that's running on top of Nutanix. The first way we'll show you is through Prism. So if we go back to Prism, we'll start that process. Select the storage container that you want to unmount and delete. And then in the actions area, hit the update button. In the new window, select the radio button next to unmount on all ESXi hosts, hit save, and then hit yes to confirm that you want to unmount on all hosts. Prism will spit back a confirmation after just a second or two that everything is good. Now if you're sure you want to delete the storage container, select the storage container and hit the delete button. Hit yes for the confirmation screen and you'll see that it has been deleted. If we head back over to vCenter, we can see in the HTML5 client that our storage container, also known as a data store in the VMworld, world, has been removed. We'll go ahead and start our other way of removing a data store. If you select the data store that you want to unmount on the VMware side, you can look at the settings and then right click on it and go to unmount data store because the data store cannot be in use when you delete it. Check the top box to select all hosts and hit the OK button. vCenter will send a command to all of the hosts to unmount the data store, so let that complete. And then we'll head back over to Prism to actually delete the storage container. So select that storage container that we unmounted, and when you're ready, hit the delete button, and delete again to confirm. But oh no, what is this? We got an error message. Nutanix definitely does its best to prevent you from shooting yourself in the foot. You can see the error message states that you cannot delete the storage container because there is data on it. So we will have to go ahead and remount that data store quickly, find out what data is there, and remove it. So we'll go through that process real quick here. With the storage container still selected, go to the update button under the actions area. Select mount on all ESXi hosts and hit save. And then head back over to vCenter. And in vCenter, we'll select that storage container. Go to the files area. And we'll see what HR left on there, even though they told us that they deleted everything. Of course, they left their Linux ISO on there. So if we go ahead and delete it, we should now be able to go back through the process of unmounting the data store on the vCenter side. So again, right click on it, hit unmount, select all hosts, hit OK, let vCenter unmount the data store from all the hosts, and then we'll go back to Prism. Select the storage container, go over and hit the delete button in the actions area. Of course, don't be like me, actually click the delete button. And then in the new window, just go ahead and hit delete again for confirmation. And Prism will spit back a green nice message that says your storage container has been deleted. And that was the two different ways of deleting a data store and storage container from a mixed VMware ESXi and Nutanix Acropolis environment. Way one is to do all of your activities inside of the Prism interface, where you can both unmount and delete the storage container, or you can also, from vCenter, log in and unmount the data store from VMware, and then go into Acropolis through the Prism interface and delete the storage container. Remember that to be able to delete a storage container from the Nutanix Prism interface, it does need to be unmounted from all hosts, and there cannot be any data on it. 
hope this video is helpful to someone, and I also hope that you have a great day. Thank you.